I believe an alternative to this section is desperately needed because the federal government should not be involved in our daily lives and everyday decisions. Under the pro proposed consumer protection title, we would be opening the floodgates of government involvement. The federal government could be telling us how we could spend our money, how we could save the future by making decisions for us, and could truly limit financial markets to the point of economic decline. The federal government should not operate with the belief that it's protecting us from ourselves. Now what's really important is for the public, for the average American to know is that this bill could protect people, but it could also go potentially 10 steps further and take some of their decision-making power and transfer it to the federal government. We don't do that in America. For example, as the bill stands, it's so overreaching and ambiguous in areas that it could impact everyday purchases for most Americans. How would they do that? Under the rules that they write that nobody takes a look at. There's nothing to hold this bureau in check. Here's how the bureau would regulate consumer financial products or services, as well as service providers, sweeping thousands of already regulated small businesses into the bureau's purview. Then you add in section 1027 of the bill, and it could penalize anyone who buys or sells something on an installment plan, or it could affect any local small business that offers some kind of monthly payment on credit. That's why we're being flooded right now with people that want to be exempted from this bill. They're worried about not being able to provide their service anymore. You ever bought a car and paid for it over a few years with a financing plan from the dealer recently? Many of us probably have. This bill's language is so ambiguous and unclear that it looks like people who want to pay for a service in an installment plan or those who offer those plans will be penalized and regulated by the new Consumer Protection Agency. I should say Consumer Protection Super Agency. Nobody has ever had this kind of power. Small business owners, regular people off the streets, and from our states have been streaming into the congressional offices looking for these exemptions that I just talked about because of this title and this bill. As drafted, this title is so ambiguous, so far-reaching, that consumers and good actors are being swept up with the bad. Additionally, though, if a consumer purchases something on an installment plan, whether the loan is for a bike or minivan, braces, an engagement ring, livestock, or a home, if there are more than four installments, the government, through the Bureau, would have a say in approving that loan. The Bureau, also in the name of protecting us from ourselves, would require banks <coughs> would require banks to keep and maintain records of all bank account activity and financial activity of their clients for at least three years, while also requiring this information be sent regularly to the Bureau for safekeeping. I have serious concerns about our government collecting information on the daily activities of our citizens and equal concerns about the government approving or disapproving the financial choices of its citizens. Mr. President, I'm a co-sponsor of the Title X alternative because I believe in its ability to address consumer protection without regulating consumers out of their rights as citizens. I'm a co-sponsor because I believe this alternative regulates the bad actors without tossing small business into the mix and regulating them out of business. It doesn't form a new agency that has to go through a whole rulemaking process over a period of time before we even know what they're doing. Putting the Bureau under the Federal Reserve with all the concerns and pressures focused on the Fed right now is a very bad idea. Moving consumer protection to an unregulated, non-transparent, not accountable new agency that can write its own rules without review and operate using unchecked money is beyond my comprehension. And I think it's beyond the comprehension of the American people when they find out about it. I'm not sure they're aware of it, or I think there would be a huge hue and cry across this country. People are more concerned over their freedoms right now than they ever have been, and this will take away freedoms. You have to have the freedom to make your choices and even to make bad choices. But in America, that's the way it works. 
And Big Brother isn't allowed to hang over your shoulder and decide for you whether you're making a good decision. I yield the floor.